Hi everyone. Welcome to Max Art Place. I'm Mac. I'm in a different room today and I have a special project that I want to do. I uh, hope I can do this. It's in, I'm going to call it in record time. That gives you a hint. So my colors today are Sargent's Black and that's mixed with the uh, three parts Floetrol, one part black, Montmartre Deep Cyan Blue, two parts Floetrol, Arteza Violet and Floetrol, three to one. Uh, a dark blue I mixed up with a lot of different colors. Uh, Artist Loft Deep Turquoise with Floetrol, and that's about two to one. I've added Floetrol to my bottles because I realized I wasn't using enough Floetrol. Uh, so I've added Floetrol and I don't want to use any water. This is uh, Artist Loft's Bas Basics Deep Violet, also with Floetrol. Artez's Gold and Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue and Deco Art Metallic Teal. So these are all the colors. I also have my white, which is a uh, just a white paint with four parts Floetrol to one part paint. It's Kensington Clark's Semi Gloss. Um, and I'm going to have help accomplishing this because I don't want to get paint on the floor. So as soon as my help arrives, I'll get to it. Thanks for watching. I sure hope this works out. Hi everyone, I'm back. And my help has arrived. So we're going to try this little tricky thing here. There's nine records there. And that's why I'm going to call it in record time. And I'm going to, to use those colors that I described and do the one with the blow dryer. Dutch pour, they call that. Why they call it a Dutch pour, I have no idea. So, Harold, do you want to sing while I'm painting? No. Okay. So at least you can carry a tune. That's more than I can do. So, the reason I needed help is I didn't have a big enough table, and it's too cold to go outside where I can blow the paint, and I couldn't lift this up to stretch the paint. So my only option was a Dutch pour, and I don't really want to get it on the kitchen floor. So my helper there is graciously going to block the paint from going on the floor. Sure hope this works. Alright, now we're going to go... Yeah, I know. It's, it can be big there. I'm going to put my colors on and then blow paint all over the place. And this is the Arteza Violet. It's hard to know how much paint you're going to need uh, for nine records. Two 
toothpick. I decided to use uh, blues and purples because it seems to be the color that most people like and gold. I could have used silver, but I thought gold would be better. A lot of different blues here. And you really don't know how much paint to use either. Mica powder, but I thought I'd try this Arteza gold. And this is that blue I mixed up. So it's just a little bit different. It's a little darker and it doesn't have any green to it. Well, here goes nothing, I guess. Get all this stuff out of the way. And put this white around. Okay, you want to put the cardboard up there first. I will go over that way. And you can hold it straight up.
bit more this way. think of that, but I think it's pretty nice. What do you think, helper? Yeah, that's good. I don't that's really good. have a, a good volume of a blow dryer. Uh, I think it kind of needs a little more up here to uh, help it out a little because it's not as much here as it is on the other side. It's a little bit different going in a circle than it is going straight. This is all dry. I'm going to give it a nice coat of varnish. I haven't really mastered the art of the uh, epoxy yet, and I don't want to mess it up. So I'll just give a torch. Got any on the floor, did I? Mm -mm. No, no, no floor. Wow, what a break that is. Seems to be a lot of nice cells and lacing here and there. I'm curious to see how it will be when it dries. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please share and give a thumbs up. And let you see what it looks like when it's dry. For now, I'll take you down and show you a close-up. Be right back. Close-up. As you see, there's lots of nice cells. And lacing, there's some purple lacing in parts. That color combination there is really nice.
a little bit of black gave it some nice cells. My doggie's on the floor with a toy. Wants to, wants to play with the toy and I can't do that right now. So there you go. That's it for now. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. I thought I'd show you a picture of the one I finished before this. Looks like water on a sandy beach. I'm gonna varnish this one. Thought I'd show it to you now that it's dry. Bye for now.